Hey everyone, it's Tom here from Tom's Aquariums TV, bringing you another video from one of my fish tanks. This time a tank that you haven't seen yet is the 20 gal fighter tank. Nothing too special this tank really, it's a nice little tank that I've uh, decided to let run as a jungle sort of type, as you can see everything's nice big bushy, bit overgrown but that was the look I'm going for so I hope you like that with this tank it's there's nothing too special with it really it's, um, I'm running one one light in bulb to keep it nice and dim in there uh, one heater and I actually don't run a filter on this tank I thought I'll try it out and see what happens and bingo, everything's perfect and growing and everything's healthy so making that choice of not having the filter in this tank has worked out quite well for me actually originally this tank was a uh, my uh, cherry shrimp breeding tank which slowly is taken over by various fish that I've been or picked up over the time. I'm not sure if there's actually any cherries left in here to be honest. I have a hunt around but it's, it's so over, like bushy and dark in there that you just cannot see them. But yeah it was originally a cherry shrimp tank but now it's been turned into my fighter breeding tank which my main guy, my show guy is at the top left there. He is my half moon placat. White with red tints of like a dark red purpley colour on his fins. I'm not sure how well the camera's going to pick his colours up on here, but yeah, he's an absolutely gorgeous fish. He's worth, they're worth paying that extra bit for if you've got the time. And the proper size tank to keep a fighter, really. Because they are such awesome fish to keep. Great personalities on them. Uh, other fish wise in here, I have three skunk Corridoras. Let's just plod about and do their thing. Various cherry shrimp. If there's any left in here. <laughs> um, two baby bristle noses. One random red platy there. Um, two dwarf pearl danios. And recently, as in last Sunday, which is about two or three days ago, I decided to keep him entertained by putting four females in the tank. You can see one of them at the bottom there. Just to give him, I don't know, just he was really he kept bombing it over like each side of the tank mainly because dun, you've got a reef there which are obviously bright colours which think he's there like obviously other males and another tank right there next to him so obviously he was protecting his uh, territory and just hounding each side of the tank but by adding these four females it's uh diverted his attention and I've just turned these tank lights on and finally well not finally it's only been two or three days but he has built his bubble nest so hopefully in the near future I will have a few babies well it's my first time attempting to breed these so Fingers crossed it goes alright, but if it doesn't, then we'll just try again. But with this tank being so overgrown, I've just, I'm not even going to bother trying to take the females out. It's, they've got so many hiding spots in it, it's just, it's just not worth it. And So 
So yeah, this it's got a few live plants. It's a majority live now actually. Nice tall bushy ones. A few like Anubias. You've got this small Amazon sword at the back. A couple of plastic plants just to like keep it more sturdy. I think because he's such a he is such a thick fighter. A chunk, not thick as in dumb, but he uh, is, is a chunky, chunky fighter. And he's capable of just bashing through everything in this tank, so. But yeah, he's an absolute gorgeous t uh, fighter in this jungle tank. As you can see, he's active as hell at the moment because he knows his four females are in here and his nest has been built. So hopefully in the next few days, a week or so, there'll be another update saying I've been successful with it all, but only time will tell. It was just a bonus, really, if I got baby ones out of it. But this is actually my last tank to show you. I've shown you the reef, discus, fluval edge, the tetra planted, and this being my final one that I currently have running. It's the 20, 20 gal fighter tank. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Please subscribe.